from an engineering standpoint, I go back to what the NASCAR guys have always said, that, you know, the understeer is when you hit the wall with the nose of the car first, and oversteer is when you hit the wall with the back of the car first. And that's not really not too far off. I mean, an understeer technically comes from the car is understeering in that it's not steering enough. So it's understeering, it's not making it around the corner at the rate that the driver asks it to. And oversteering, the car is actually rotating more than the driver's asking it to rotate. As a driver, the difference between oversteer and understeer is quite distinctive. You know, if you are sliding on the front end or you don't have a front end grip, that's understeer. And if the rear of the car is sliding, that's oversteer. If you turn the wheel and the wheel, uh, the car just pretty much do nothing, that's when you have understeer. When you turn the wheel and you're above the speed, and, and then all of a sudden you say, oops, the, the rear has gone past, is because you have oversteer. You know, oversteer and understeer are certainly uh, polar opposite conditions, right? So oversteer pretty simply is loose, you know, when the back of the car is sliding around, not making grip, you know, Dukes of Hazard style, that's definitely loose. An oversteering car is generally quicker, but for a short period of time. Either the driver spins out, the rear tires go away, or he makes a mistake two or three times because he's trying to catch an oversteering car. So I'm an oversteer driver, I like oversteer, I like to fight the car, I find that's the way to be quick. Uh, understeer, I find you're, you're limited by understeer when when it comes in, so yeah, oversteer, I, I guess you just gotta, gotta drive as hard as you can and, uh, and maximize the car's potential uh, in each corner by you know, just, just fighting it and, and being on the limits. If you're going to go into a corner and you're always chasing the, the rear of the car or getting some entry oversteer, then the risk is that eventually you're going to go in a little bit too hot, the, the rear end's going to go too far, and you're going to end up spinning off, in which case it costs you a lot of time and could create a, a bigger problem where you end up running into something or another car. Um, some drivers like a car that is very neutral to just a little bit of oversteer. A car like that is a car that you can really kind of flow good speed through any high, high speed corners. You go through a high speed corner and the car moves and you kind of react fast. That's, I would say, it's not the safest as far as high speed corners goes, but it's definitely the quickest. I mean, a lot of drivers prefer one over the other, really depending, I think, on how they develop the race craft. If they came from go-karting, they probably don't mind a, a loose car or an oversteering car so much because you, you do that with those carts so much to point the car in the right direction. You actually use the, rotate the car a little bit, straighten the wheel and go. All my life I, I raced go-karts and, and mainly things with just rear brakes. So I, in my go-kart history, I was one of the guys that threw the car in sideways and drove it super, super loose and had no issues with that. As I grew up and drove more higher downforce cars, you tend to find that a loose high downforce car is not a fast high downforce car because you need to keep the air going through the tunnels or over the car to make all those aero bits work. I think it just depends on how you come up and what you drive as far as how, what your style, what style you end up with. Some drivers like an understeering car or some drivers like an oversteering car. They would prefer it neutral. Some can adapt to an oversteering car better and still not make those mistakes. Some guys can really handle a lot of oversteer, some guys can't. And over the years I've driven with lots of different guys that have wildly different perspectives and, and feelings on what the car should do. So. I definitely prefer oversteer. I like the car to be loose rather than understeery. I think it's faster for one and I think there's more feel involved. Understeer can be massively frustrating. You know, typically understeer is a little bit more comfortable of a feeling. Um, you know, you don't have that surprise of the rear end going to slide out and cause a spin. Uh, it's a little bit more predictable. Personally, I really like to have a lot of front grip, so I'd rather have the back end maybe a little freer um, rather than understeer. For me, I'm a guy that likes a little bit of understeer in the car, so the rear's good and snug, uh, so I can charge the car into the corner, uh, the initial part of the corner. A lot of guys think the car, a, a car that's more free or more loose or more oversteery is, uh, is going to be faster, but um, you know, everybody's got a different idea of what's, what's quick. 